Pal's not the only one that's going to miss you. I'm going to, too. And I'll miss you, Mickey. But Uncle Sam has trained me to be a flyer, and now he wants to see what I can do. Oh, you'll do fine. Say, when do you think you'll come home on leave? Well, I don't know, but it'll be a long time. Gee, I'll bet I'll be in high school by the time you get back. Well, you'd better be. Say, I just remembered I haven't put the car away. Come on, let's take a last run around the block. Hey, that's a great idea. Come on, pal, let's go. <laughs> Bill, I wish I could drive the way you do. Well, Mickey, if you're really determined to learn to drive properly, you will. It's just a matter of time and practice and being fair to everyone else on the road. A fellow can get a lot of value and pleasure out of a car if he treats it right and is a sportsmanlike driver. I know I've sure had a lot of fun with this buggy. But you know, You've got to take care of a car if you want to get the most out of it. Which reminds me, there were several little jobs I meant to do before I left, but it just wasn't time. I could do them. I've worked with you before on the car. Say, that might be a good idea. The more you know about a car, the better you'll be able to take care of it. Come on, I'll show you what has to be done. Uh, pull the hood lever there, will you, Mickey? Okay. Now, for one thing, the, uh, Plugs ought to be cleaned and reset. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, see where the insulation is wearing off this wire? Yeah, right down there. Yeah, that's one. I was going to replace that. And, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the hose connection here needs tightening. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I think I can take care of all those things. <laughs> you sure are car crazy, aren't you? Well, aren't you? I guess so. Say, I've got an idea. Well, I'm away. If you satisfy me that you've learned all you can about cars and driving, I'll let you drive my car when you get your license. You mean it? You really mean it? <laughs> of course I do. By the time I come home again, you'll probably be just about ready to drive. I'll check you out the day I get back. Oh, gee, that's great. But, but what do you check me out on? What do I have to know? Well, I'll leave that to you to figure out. And be sure and write me now and let me know how you're coming along. Okay. Say, that must be the folks ready to take me to the station. Come on, Mick, let's go. Dear Bill, I don't know what kind of problems you have in the air court, but that problem you gave me is sure a tough one. I've been trying to figure out just what you'd want me to know, because I'd sure like to earn those keys. Whenever I'm in a car now, I really watch how people drive. The other day, there was a woman ahead of us, trying to find a number on the opposite side of the street. Dad said, when you look off the road, you just naturally kind of drive the way you're looking. <laughs> she sure was. She almost got hit. It seems that a driver not only has to watch out for his own car, but he also has to keep his eyes open for everybody else on the road. You know, drivers aren't the only ones who cause trouble. A woman tried to cross in the middle of the block, and it's a good thing Dad was on the job and wasn't going too fast. Some people just don't seem to consider the other fellow. We were at a stop signal, and a car squeezed in on the right side of us and shot across in front of us as soon as the signal changed. The other day I was working on your car. Now I can see why it's important you know these things. 
Jane came over to see what I was doing. I told her what you said. She wanted to help. Well, I, I figured she'd be in the way with all I've got to learn. But she just wouldn't take no for an answer. So I said, all right, she could watch me. I showed her what I was doing. And you know, she caught on right away. She wants to drive just as much as I do. It's more fun to work with somebody. And we decided that when we get into high school, we're gonna take a course in driver education. After that, I ought to be well on my way toward becoming a good driver. Dear Mickey, it sounds as though you're coming along fine. I know it's work, but rules are necessary for everyone's safety. Before I got my wings, I had to learn the rules of flying, just as you're learning the rules of driving. That's why there are flight plans and control patterns for the planes that share the skies. And rules of the road for all ships at sea. And every car driver must realize that a License is a privilege. It just means you have to recognize the rights of others. The best drivers are those who know the rules and why we have to have them. They think ahead, so they're always ready for emergencies that may develop. And even though they have the right of way, they don't insist on it when it could mean danger. It's pretty easy for you to spot good and bad driving habits, Mickey, especially with the experience you've already had in driving a bicycle. You know you have to watch the road and keep your mind on traffic and signs, signal and road markings at all times. You know you have to stop for pedestrians, even though they may make the mistake of crossing at the wrong time against the signal or the wrong place. Some people are in such a hurry that they obey the laws only when they're being watched or think they are. They forget that traffic laws and policemen protect us all. It's a mighty long time since you left. I like your letters, and I hope I'm learning what you want me to know so I can get those car keys. As I drive my bike along, I watch how people handle their cars. I've seen some good drivers and some bad ones. I saw a real close one the other day. He's lucky he didn't wind up like the fellow I saw who got clobbered in a crack-up. He really got it for driving too fast for road conditions. And Jane and I are learning how to prevent such accidents in our driver education class in high school. Yesterday we got a chance to try the machine for measuring reaction time. It shows how fast you react to different kinds of emergencies and signals. You know, there are some fellows who boast they can stop on a dime, but it just can't be done. We have the 3A textbook called Sportsmanlike Driving, and it covers just about everything a good driver needs to know. We learned how the control of the car depends on the grip of the tires on the road. These are the four friction points, and each one is only about as big as the palm of a man's hand. You have to have friction or, or grip to start.
stop or to move in any direction. We also learned it takes only a fraction of a second for an average driver to get his foot on the brake when he has to stop fast. But in that time, his car travels farther than you think. Then the car travels a lot farther before the brakes stop it. At 20 miles an hour, the reaction time distance is 22 feet. And the braking distance for good brakes is 30 feet. So you go 52 feet before you stop. And at 60, you go over 300 feet. Why, that's farther than the length of a football field. That sure puts a lot of responsibility on a driver. We also learned about the danger zone. It's sort of an extension of the car out in front, and it's as long as the stopping distance. It's a clear distance you must have for stopping. Anything in that zone would be hit before you could possibly stop. And the faster you go, the longer that danger zone will be. And of course, you need a bigger margin of safety when you're driving downhill, or when you're driving in snow, or rain, or slippery roads, because these conditions make it harder to stop. Yes, there's a lot to learn, Bill, but it's fun finding out how to be a really good driver. I think I'm gonna surprise you when you get home. Dear Mickey, tell the folks to roll out the carpet because I'm on my way. Should be home on leave before you know it. Well, Mick, she sure looks swell. Yes, sir, you really took care of her. Had a lot of fun doing it, too. Say, Bill, do you remember what you said before you went away? Well, it's been a long time. But I remember. First, we'll have to get you a learner's permit. Then we'll see what you can do. I already have one. And I've been practice driving with our instructor in school in a dual-controlled car. Well, all right. You take the wheel. And I'm not going to say a word. It's all up to you. That's fine with me. Now watch it, Mickey. Don't follow too closely. Remember your stopping distances. You're all right ahead. Now make sure there's nobody too close behind you. Get the car in the left-hand lane, in proper position. Now make a clear signal, and soon enough, watch for pedestrians. and I really went through the ringer. I think I did all right, though. What's the matter, Bill? Did Mickey do something wrong? You did fine, Mickey. Oh, boy! I made it! I made it! Yes, and all you need now is your driver's license. You've learned what it means to be a good driver, and you're ready to go, Mick. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,